Next lick uses a series of slides. Start with your third finger on the fourth string, fifth fret, slide up. Third string, fifth fret. Now slide up on the fifth string from the fifth fret to the seventh fret. Get your pointer finger on the fourth string, fifth fret. Now slide backwards by putting your pointer finger on the fifth string, seventh fret. Hit the note and slide down the fifth fret. Again, that sounds like this. Again. Pinky on the eighth fret of the sixth string and pointer finger on the fifth fret of the sixth string. All together. And you can end with your third finger on the fourth string, seventh fret, and a little vibrato. Again, a little faster. This next lick is going to use a double stop bend. Start with your third finger on the fourth string, seventh fret. Lay a double stop down on the third and second strings. And then bend that by pulling down. Go back to the fourth string, seventh fret. All together, that sounds like this. Next lick is going to use a, a long run, um, which uses a repetitive pattern called a contour pattern. Start with a pull off on the fourth string from the seventh fret to the fifth fret. Play down the fifth string in the scale. Seventh fret, fifth fret. Now we're going to work up through the scale using a repetitive pattern. The pattern starts like this. Pull off on the fifth string from the seventh fret to the fifth fret then go back up to the 7th fret. The next part of the pattern starts like this. Put your pointer finger on the 4th string, 5th fret. Go down to the 5th string, 7th fret. Back up to the 4th string, 5th fret. So that second part of the pattern goes like this. The two parts of the pattern again go like this. We're going to take that pattern and move it up each of the strings in the scale. So it sounds like this. Okay. So start with the third finger on the fifth string, seventh fret, pull off, go back to the seventh fret. Now the next part of the pattern, put your pointer finger on the fourth string, fifth fret, down to the fifth string, seventh fret, and back up. Now repeat the pattern on the next strings. Start with the third finger on the fourth string, seventh fret, pull off, and go back up. Pointer finger on the third string, uh, fifth fret, down to the fourth string, seventh fret, and back up. Now repeat the pattern on the next strings in the scale. Third finger on the third string, seventh fret, pull off, and back up. Point your finger on the second string, fifth fret, down to the third string, seventh fret, and back up. Um, repeat it on the next strings. You're going to pull off from the eighth fret to the fifth fret. Back to the eighth fret, and the pattern ends here on the pointer finger. Uh, first string, fifth fret. So again, that pattern a little faster looks like this. A little faster again. Add on to that a bend lick. Bend the second string, eighth fret. Hit the first string, fifth fret. Repeat that. Bend um, the eighth fret again. This time do a bend, hold, release with those notes. Bend. Hit the first string, fifth fret, and reattack the second string and let it down. So you get second string, fifth fret, bend, hold, release on the third and second strings again. Put your pinky on the second string, eighth fret, third finger on the third string, seventh fret, bend the third string, hit the second string, and let down the bend. End the lick with pointer finger on the third string, fifth fret. Third finger on the fourth string, seventh fret, back to the pointer finger on third string, fifth fret, and finally first string, fifth fret with the middle finger. So you get the run, the pattern. A little faster. Final lick 
uses a combination of a number of the techniques we've done so far. Start by putting down a double stop on the first and the second strings of the fifth fret. Bend up the third string, seventh fret. Put the second string, fifth fret. Put your pinky on the eighth fret of the second string and pull off to the fifth fret. Bend again on the seventh fret of the third string. Hit the second string, fifth fret. First string, fifth fret. Second string, eighth fret. Second string, fifth fret. Bend and release on the third string. Third string, fifth fret, and a little bend. And then seventh fret on the fourth string and add a little vibrato. Shake it up and down. All together, that sounds like this. Here's a solo using some of the licks we just did, played over the 12-bar blues pattern you learned earlier, with an introduction that we'll cover in the next part of this video.